Yo, yo, what up, guys? It's your boy T Devils Blazing the Sports. Yes, of course, guys, I am back at it like a crack at it, giving you boxing geekers that work. Guys, listen, I had to go live. I'm going to give you full fight live commentating of the main event Cruz versus Marshalls. It is going down. This is one that I am very interested in because we know that depending on the outcome of this fight, it could leave Savannah Marshall a road directly towards Clarissa Shields again, or maybe even open up a new path for a rematch with Cruz and Clarissa Shields. Guys, smash that like button. We are back at it. The ladies are going to get in. I'm excited, man. I'm excited about this one. Cruz can fight. Really good boxer. She is giving, I believe, Savannah Marshall the chance to get a shot at her titles, and Savannah Marshall is moving up in weight. She said that it was having a little bit of trouble uh, 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 making the weight, and now she's up. She's more comfortable. She can eat a little bit of cars back. This should be a good one. Savannah Marshall was definitely doing her best to put that pressure on Clarissa Shields, but Clarissa Shields just being a brilliant boxer, just having that grit. See, Clarissa Shields got that grit that, you know, she just remind me of like you know a sister, like 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 a girl that's a that's a girl, but she grew up around guys. She got that tomboy mentality, that same mentality. Guy like I don't care, I kick your butt, and you know that, and and she has it, and she fights with it. But I believe Clarissa Shields might actually be in the audience tonight. But this fight, this live commentating that I'm gonna do, that is presented to you by. What's Blaze in the Sports? Sponsored by What's Blaze in the Sports? Your commentator tonight is T Dub, and he is the founder of What's Blaze in the Sports. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, sharing is caring. Of course, you already know my motto. I am back at it like a crack at it, giving you walks and geek girls that work. Guys, so the co main event is just now wrapping up. Got stopped in the very, I guess, a few seconds of the last round. We got the main event coming up next, guys. But what has shocked me, and I for sure have to get videos out about it. I got to get some shorts out about it, about it. Is I was thinking that Canelo Alvarez was going to fight Jamal Charlo, the 160-pound WBC champion, and fight him at 168. But no, he is fighting Jamal Charlo, the 154-pound undisputed champion wow oh wow man i did not see that one coming like you just see charlo i think you think jamal and you know there's a lot of criticism about him fighting jamal jamal got like you know i think some mental things going on you know um you know i i, I gotta say this man jay-z is like i got a 99 problem but there ain't one hit me listen man and, and a lot of men not all but a lot of men especially the ones that get married 
And if they're going through a breakup, <laughs> that woman is, is a big problem. Even if 99 of your problems were not a woman, when that woman become that one, when she become that one, it's damn near bigger than those 99. When she go to a court, she won't have your stack. You know, it's like you can have a net worth of $150 million. You got to give her $75 million, but that's just a net worth. <laughs> so she walking that she walk away with the cash value of it. Then if you have kids with her, she finna get that. And she about to get alimony. You know, uh reminds me of you no know, Tyrese. Thirteen thousand dollars a month. But listen man, uh Jamel Charlo, the younger one, and to be honest, I thought he was somewhat clout chasing. When I heard, saw the video of Jamel Charlo talking about let's get undisputed versus undisputed. I thought he was just cloud chasing. I didn't think this was a real thing. I'm thinking he just talking. But he wasn't just talking. Or even if he was just talking, if somebody took it serious and they brought it to him, he backed it up. That take a lot of kahunas. That's really putting the lame in the coconut. <sighs> He's a 154-pound champion fighting somebody that they fought Bevo. Canelo Alvarez definitely is much bigger. And <laughs> wow, man, guys, who do you got? Before we get to this main event, who do you got winning that win? You know, Jamel Charlo, the smaller one at 154, not the one that fights at 160 and been doing it for some years. We're talking about the one that's at 154. Canelo Alvarez is undisputed at 168 pounds. He has fought north of 168 pounds, and he also failed fighting north of 168 pounds. I don't know, man. What is is is, is Jamel gonna fight at 168? I mean, listen. I don't know if they released it yet, but I think they gotta be my thoughts because if they making this undisputed versus undisputed, obviously Canelo is not fighting for his 154 pound belts. But if but if Canelo is giving Jamel Charlo a shot at his 168 pound belts, that means Jamel Charlo, who fights at 154, would most likely have to take this fight at 168, even if he weigh it or not. He will most likely have to take this fight at 168 pounds. Now, is that official? No, not yet. Not a lot has been put out about it. But I don't see in no shape, form, or fashion Canelo Alvarez is going to ever put himself at a disadvantage weight-wise. Canelo puts him to sleep. But Ramirez, listen, man. I don't... No, I'm going to tell you this. Jamel Charlo is a lion. Fights with a lion's heart. He has a lot of carriage. He has a lot of pop. He has a good, good tight base, good jab, good power. But that power has been very effective at 154 pounds. Ask Tony Harris. Ask these people. Ask them. We just haven't seen the power at 160, and we haven't seen Jamel Charlo power at 168. I can almost 100% say he's going to bring the same style, intensity, to 168. I just don't know what the power going to look like. I don't know. I, I even think Demetrius Andred, who had a little pop, you know, had some pop on at 160, it could have just been his last opponent, but it didn't have the same effect at 168. Sometimes it take a little while to get accustomed to that weight. But listen, man, I tell you this, man. Take my hat. Jamel Charlo, listen, bro. I take my hat off to you, man. You're the definition of a lion. You're the definition of a brother stepping up for, for another brother. You're doing it for the Charlos, man. Listen, this is a great bloodline type of thing win lose or draw you gotta respect jamel charlo just like uh in the chat says canelo uh puts him to sleep think about it most people are going to have canelo favor but when you got a man that's taking that chance coming up from a from a lower weight and i don't think this is one of those where 
Amir Khan jumps up in weight and tries to fight Canelo. In my heart of hearts, I don't think Amir Khan ever thought he can hang with Canelo. I think he was praying that he can play I can touch you, but you can't touch me game long enough to go 12 rounds. And uh, Kel Brook... Kell Brook might have believed that he could maybe do something with Triple G. Maybe he believed it. But Triple G changed that too with a few swings to crack his orbital bone. The question of the day. The question of the day. Did Jamel Charlo bite off more than he can chew? Chew on that. Chew on that. Let me know what it is. Jamel Charlo, 154 pound undisputed champion. Did he bite off more than what he can chew? Is jumping from 154 to potentially 168 with no belt in between, is that a little too much of a leap at one time? It's a good fight. Guys, I'm going to call live. Guys, remember, we, are, we already know that if we got a banger in July, right? We got a banger in July. Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. There ain't no question about the weight. We just can't wait for the date. No question about their weight, but we can't wait for the date. July 29th. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Terrence Crawford, Spence Crawford, Spence Crawford, Spence, Spence Crawford. Mmm. Both of them talking about cooking each other up like fish. Oh, my God. Captain D's, Long John Silver. Oh, my God. September 30th, Canelo versus Jermail Charlo. Not Jamal. Jermail Charlo. But guys, the reason we are here right now, this video is for... The ladies, and these ladies right here, these are not ladies that fight like the stereotypical girl from the hood. Back in my day, they used to windmill it. I, I don't know, I can't even do it. They used to be like, ah, they used to windmill it back in my day, right? Or they'd grab her and, mm, mm, mm. Nope, not this. Now listen, that's how you know when a girl really been street fighting. Because if she doing this, that's how they all hit. If she doing this, hey, hey, <laughs> she knuckling up. That remind me of a video um, where it comes on and it looked like some road rage incidents. And this black woman, she gets out the car and these people filming her. And then she's like, they trying to drive past her. And she said, bloop, 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 and she punches the car. I'm like, God, leave, man. <laughs> like, like, listen, I'm a, I'm, you can't date them kind, bro. You cannot date them kind. <laughs> they they going to hit you so much that you're going to run and hit back. And then, you, then you're done for it. You're done. She said, body, from, body shots from Canelo would make Charlo quit. Um, listen, uh, Adrian. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I think Canelo is the favorite. I think he should be the favorite. Um, based on he's a naturally bigger man. Um, and, uh, you know, the people he fought uh, in the sport. And because Jamel is most likely jumping up in weight. 154, 168. Is that 14 pounds? What? Now, now, if this fight would have happened at 154 years ago with either Jamel or Jamal, or if it would have happened at 160 versus Jamal some years ago, would have been a much, much closer fight prediction thoughts. Both of the brothers have been out for a while. Jamal been out for a different reason than Jamal, but both been out. And the PBC got 
Canelo on a three fight deal. Now, some people were saying that originally that the three fight deal that they got Canelo is, you know, basically Canelo fights Jamal Charlo, and then it was uh, something about uh, it might work his way to Earl Spence. But then I, I heard that, you know, Terrence Crawford was hoping to beat Earl Spence and get a shot, a shot at Jamel Charlo and the Canelo, I'm not Canelo, but an Earl Spence, vice versa, that eventually, if it's right, he'll, he'll do a fight with Jamel Charlo. I'm telling you right now, if Canelo comes out there and he's fighting Jamel Charlo, now nah, that's all different. I don't know how this is going to shake out. I don't know how this is going to shake out. Let me see what they're doing here, guys. They sing a song. Oh, uh, sweet Caroline. Remember, guy, listen, man. Uh, the reason I went live for this one, I got my, my boys upstairs, is uh, these ladies are going to throw. You know what I'm saying? Like, like um, I would say the person that brought me to pay more attention to the ladies doing their things in the ring was Clarissa Ship. I mean, early on. Um, just the way she was talking. And the way, and this was before she even started calling herself the GOAT, but the way she was handling her biz in there, that fighting style, it just reminded me of, um, like, cousins and stuff. You know, that's just reminded me like, a, like, a, like my sister, like, the way she, the way she talk and she, and she fight. My sister's, uh, I, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. A quick story. Um, T-Dub, I might have to uh, go upstairs for a second, but hold on, guys, let me try Matter of fact, let, let me let me uh, let me shoot a text. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna have to make a call real quick. Do me a favor, guys. Hold on one second. Give me a second. All right, yeah, I was trying to call to let them know because I can hear a lot of rumbling. Just stop it, but they can't hear me. All right, guys, Savannah Marsh is getting ready to walk out. I'm going to save that, that story. It's a, it's, it's a good story about T-Dub's sister, man. It's a story where T-Dub's sister came to save the day for young T-Dub. Guys, um, I'm going to say that. Let, let that let that murder ain't it, on you. It was like, you know, T Dub was getting jumped by five or six dudes. Crazy that it is, T Dub's sister came out the blue and helped his helped her helped her little brother out. I'm gonna tell you guys about that that whole incident one one day. Not that I just gotta remember it. I'm gonna remember it next. Maybe for one of these big fights coming up. He said, uh, French Rouse crew will whoop Marshall. Marshall got outclassed against Shields while French Rouse put some heat on Clarissa. You know, um, I would say, you know, um, Clarissa is probably, you know, um, I'm just guessing naturally smaller than both of these ladies because, um, Marshall, uh, was bigger than Clarissa, but Clarissa was a better fighter, right? Even bang with the banger. Um, Cruz, this is more her weight class. Um, and Savannah is actually moving up. So we're going to see... Here it is. Here it is. We calling this one. Hey, guys, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Sharing is caring. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys some of them shorts out there. I'm going to talk about what we're talking about now, the Canelo Alvarez. We'll talk about that. So hit that notification bell. Look out for those shorts. Look out for the little quick videos between 5 and 10 minutes. And whenever I go live, hit the notification bell. You'll always get it. All right, guys, they ready to make history. We're going to make history as well, guys. We're going to share this movie, uh, this moment live and in color. From England. Listen, man, I, I got to say this, man. Savannah Marshall got, she got, listen, she can fight. I remember even before she fought Clarissa, we're looking back and watching her fights. Even when she fought Clarissa. She can fight. She steady works. She's working off of that jab. According to Clarissa, she got a nice big right hand that she hit Clarissa one time. And I think she said that she couldn't see for a minute out of out of one side, but she just kept on fighting. That means she got some pop. 
but this was a smaller Clarissa, and this is a a a, a uh, cruise that is more natural at this weight. That's maybe you should take more of these bigger punches. So we're going to see can Savannah Marshall carry that same intensity and power up to a new division in fight for it all live in living color, or will she get exposed? And I'm telling you right now, Cruz would love to expose her. Clarissa Shields will love to see her get exposed again. And both times, I believe they have went into the backyard, the, the, the land of Savannah Marshall to make the fight. Over there, Savannah Marshall, she is the woman. She is the one that's bringing the pain. I come to bring the pain, or core to the brain. Guys, see right now, uh, Savannah Marshall getting inside the ring. She has on the black, look like teal color. Got the, look like the Adidas, the white and black Adidas bouncing around the ring, guys. We're going to find out. I Listen, I, I, I really didn't even watch the undercards. I like, okay, let me get to the co-main event, and I got to go live. I got to. You know, later tonight, I want to be able to still do it. We have um, Jared Big Baby Anderson taking on the Prince, taking on the demigod Charles Martin. You know what I'm saying? I walk this earth like a god, Charles Martin. We're going to see if um, Jared Anderson, which is probably predict to win and maybe even stop Charles Martin, but we're going to see if the Prince can become a king tonight. Can he prove that he is the demigod? That he told us all he is. Here we go. French Sean Cruz, guys. Hey, that this is the main event. This is the one. Um, if I look at, you know, um, I don't have a dog in this race. When I when I say I don't, I don't. Uh, you know, like if I had to just pull for somebody in this race, I gotta pull for the American. I gotta pull for Cruz. Um, you know, I have more in common with it. I got to pull for Cruz, but, um, do I have, I didn't do no history. I didn't, I really didn't look and see who I think should win this fight. I didn't, I just know it's a really good matchup and I want to call it, uh, this is one of those fights. Um, I mean, it, Cruz might have more skills. Um, I'm not sure how a power is, um, but we're gonna find out, man. We're gonna find out again. Like, like I'm gonna call this fight, but it's gonna be a lot of learning for me because I don't know. And right now, got to get ready to make her walk. She has on the ruby. Looks almost like if Tina Turner was gonna be, if Tina Turner and Dark Vader said, "Let's put something together for a ring walk." This is what it would be. It had like the black shoulder strap to come down to a V. The almost a Dark Vader colors, but then it has like the uh, Tina Turner Beyonce. Like ruby red type of little like skirt little shaky things that go all the way down. Hey, it, it's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. It goes all the way to the floor too. She has on the black gloves, hitting the chest. Let's get it. Let's go. Listen, man, this is big. You know, uh, and I'm gonna tell you, me to be honest, when I was fighting. I love fighting away more than I did home. Like, I didn't have the pressure when you're away. When you're home, it just seemed like it's a lot more pressure. Um, but when you're away, I love playing upset. I love not having pressure on my back and being able to go out there and operate. Knowing whenever I land a big shot, he's thinking about it and how to get some get back. All right, guys, uh, Cruz is in the ring. Savannah Marshall is in the ring. This is about to happen. She walks around the ring and literally walks right in front of the... Like, she gets in the ring, right? She throws her hand up, you know, and, and walking around the ring. She literally walks right past Savannah Marsh with her hand just like this. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. She has on the, uh, white, uh, the white Nike sports bra. The ruby red trunks. Looks like maybe ruby red shoes, red and white. All right, somebody's saying it now. Yeah, let's get it for the lady, man. Listen, man, see, the one thing I like about this one, see, the thing that, that's making lady boxing or women boxing um, bigger is because 
you're not with some of these fights. You're not even thinking about the gender. Like, like there, there was like before I really started watching it. You think about the gender, you in and, and, and what you come to expect or not. But now, when you got like like Cruz and and even, I like Savannah Marshall um, and uh, Clarissa Shields, they just fight. You only think about the fighting. I would say the the main difference is, it's the power, right? You don't see the man level power that. You know that can really throw you out of there. Uh, every now and then, someone might display some close to it, but you know that third level in power. But then some of that could be because they fight, you know, shorter rounds. All right, let's see what they got. I think they might have. They sent him by Cruz. Cruz is doing USA National Anthem. The, hey, is that the first? That might be history. That the fighter is singing the National Anthem? Let's go, man. Hey, they showing Clarissa Shields, bro. Listen, she, listen, she looking yummy, man. She looking yummy. Hey, let's go, man. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm pulling. I, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna call the fight fur and fur, man. But I'm pulling for Cruz, man. Let's go. I ain't never seen a fighter do the national anthem. Let's go. Hey, they better be cutting her extra check for that too. She better be getting an extra check. Sing it. Let's go, Cruz. Come on. Let's go, crew deserve. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, that just pumps blood through you, man. It makes me wish I was fighting again. You know, sometimes I get that, I get that, I get a motivated. Like, man, I wish I was fighting again. I get him and start hitting the bag for about three or four minutes. I'm like, man, it's tough. I'm tired. Man, I wish I had a beer. I'm gonna, man, you know what? I'm gonna start back tomorrow. Start tomorrow. Give me, whew, I'm tired. Free, let's go! <clears throat> in the home. In the home of the brave. Let's get it. Yeah, hey, listen, I, I'm like, I, I you know, maybe I don't always catch a national anthem, but I have never seen a fighter sing, a, sing her own national anthem and then fight moments after. I just never seen it. I never seen it. Man, let's go, man. Man, hey, let, let's go, man. And she got a voice on her. She, she, she didn't crack. She didn't crack. I know they say black don't crack, but her voice didn't crack either. She got a fight coming up. You know what would be crazy? This, this would be the first fight I see a fighter actually sing their own national anthem. And they get the win on foreign soil. Man, oh, man. But I tell you, listen, man, Savannah ain't coming to lay down, bro. She ain't coming to lay down. I mean, Savannah part thing, like, it's all cute and everything, but, you know, I ain't come from a scene contest. I come to put these there. Yeah, she probably thinking, like, hey, 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 this is going to be a fight, man. I mean, last time I seen uh, Cruz, man, like, like, Cruz get to it, man. Like, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of filling out. I don't know if anybody going to get stopped. Obviously, I would like people to get stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I would like a real good fight, and then a boom, a fight change. Somebody get hurt, get stopped. To me, I, I mean, that gives me everything. If you leave it up to the scorecards, man, that, that's scary. Nowadays in boxing, when you, when you leave it to the scorecards, it's scary. You don't know how them judges are gonna do it. All right, they are introducing to Vanna Marshall. <sighs> God, I just drunk. Oh, I'm still drinking some coffee. I'm still tired. Just one of them days, man. It's a rainy day here. It rained this morning, then stopped, then rained again like an hour or so ago. Let's go. Introducing Savannah Marshall. Let's get it, guys. Remember, this is going to be full fight live commentating, guys. Hit that like button. This is the main event. 
you haven't missed anything if you just got here you got here at the right time full fight live commentating savannah marshall versus cruz is earned it is going down in moments away they just introduced savannah marshall she has bounces she has on the black with like the teal type color or is it like a, a, a different type of blue? I don't know. Now they're introducing um, Cruz. She has on the white top with like the ruby red trunks. Cruz is earned. Age 36, 10 fights. I mean, are uh, there 10 fights, eight wins, two knockouts, one loss, one NC. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Who's been very active, man? The dude from Crunk Gym. What's his name? Uh, I can't think of a name. The one at the Tyson Fury camp. Man, he's been at. I've been seeing him almost at in everybody corner. Uh, what's it? Ah, Sugar Sugar Hill, right? I've been seeing him. He was just in the last fight corner too. He said, "Oh yeah, what a patriotic woman, Cruz, man. Listen, bro, that was beautiful, man. I have never seen." Somebody sing their own national anthem before they fight, and her voice didn't crack. Bro, that, hey, listen, that was amazing. That had me pumped, bro. That had me pumped. All right, they're doing the last minute instructions. It's like, I want to drink this coffee fast, man, but I feel like I don't ate, ate, ate Chinese today, so you know how they got me. Full of stuff right now. All right, go. Both ladies touch gloves. Going back to the corner. Looking over. Let's go. Here we go. Cruz comes out. Take the center. Jab to the body by Cruz. Jab upstairs. Oh, nice right hand by um, Cruz. But she made a... a, 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 a Facial expression that I wasn't sure why. I'm not sure what happened. But Cruz is trying to take the fight early to Savannah. Tagging with a series of body shots. Savannah slides on the rope. Now lands a right hand against Cruz. Cruz come back. Double jab. Right hand herself. Both ladies in the center ring. Both ladies pumping the, pumping the jab. Savannah got the nice little lean to her. Cruz trying to hit her. Throw the four points combination. But Misha is as, 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 uh, I said Michelle. Marshall slips all of them. Marshall looking, trying to catch the rhythm. Throwing a slip jab. Cruz had an overhand right, but missing. One, two punts by Marshall to the body. Now Marshall goes low. Cruz put her hands over her body and start well into the referee coming and separate him. First round, one minute and four seconds left in the double jab by Cruz. Then Marshall got kind of got Marshall kind of holding a little bit. And then she was hitting her with some of these. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Cruz with the jab. Double job missing. Missing left and the right. Little slide with the punch a little bit. Both the ladies tied up again. Referee separate them. 44 seconds in the first round. Cruz sliding to her right. Savannah just trying to stay in front of her. Nice job by Cruz. Missed the second one. Savannah stand right in front of her. Her face. Savannah face already looks. Ooh, nice little uh, left hook. Cruz through. They clipped Savannah. Nice job by, by Cruz. Just missed that one. But jab to the body by Savannah. Both ladies throwing jabs. Savannah got kind of like a leaning style, left hand down, misses the right hand, lands the jab against Cruz. Cruz trying to try to overhand right, covering them short. Both ladies throw jab, nothing there. Oh, both trying to get left to the body by Cruz. God, listen, hey, they throwing early. Both ladies throw jab, but then Cruz come back with a jab, right hand, lands the left hook, Savannah. Overhand right by Cruz, misses the left. Cruz trying to right hand, misses, lands the left hook, time. Listen, I told you this was not going to be a filling out process, man. I told you, I said, these ladies, I said that they kind of, I thought Cruz was like, was like a fast starter. She did come out. Both ladies landed, but if I had to give that first round to somebody, I'd give it to Cruz. Cruz, I think Cruz was trying to do damage in the first round. If they stay up this pace, they said they're going to highlight, highlight uh, Savannah landing the overhand right. Cruz took it well looking at her. Now they're showing they both missed, and they're showing another le that left by Savannah, but in a left hook uppercut to the body by Marshall in the same sequence. Set time to uppercut Cruz. That chin is begging to be hit when Marshall comes in. All right. 
Let's go. Getting ready for that second. Let's go. Here we go. Both ladies uh, come out. Savannah back with that jab again. Cruz tried to one two miss. They tied up. Cruz punching in the clinch. They still tied up. Referee letting them work out. They still tied up. They still locked up. Referee coming in, separating them. Savannah pumps one miss. Cruz slides to her right, trying to right hand missing. Savannah now trying to push forward. Lands a jab. Lands a one two against Cruz. And a right hook. Crowd gets get excited. Another jab by Savannah. Right hand missed by Cruz. Lands a left hook. She missed her right, but lands that left. Oh, one, two by Cruz, but the right hand went behind the head, holding Savannah down. Clean break. Left hook by Cruz. Right uppercut to the body. Now they body tying up. Cruz locking her up. Now they, they right here with it. They right here. Referee separate them. They're in the center ring now. Second round, one minute and eight seconds left. Savannah trying to jab to the body, coming up short. Both gate ladies missed. Double jab. Three jabs by Cruz. Nothing there. Savannah misses the counter right hand. Both ladies throwing jab. Missing, missing. Cruz attacks. Then she grabs on. She grabbed on. Now they getting pushed to port. Savannah pumps one double jab by Cruz. Savannah just got the movement, trying to throw the jab. Double jab by Cruz again. Savannah trying to come. Ooh, nice stiff jab by Savannah. Oh, jab to the body. Cruz is out balance for a minute, but still start fire back a two piece, but she misses. Savannah goes low. Both ladies get tied up for a moment. Clean break. Tied up again instantly as they come together. Referee trying to push him apart. 24 seconds left in the second round. Savannah back with that jab, doubling it up. Cruz moving to her right. Savannah standing right in front of her. Cruz come in. Right hand to the body land. Holds Savannah head down a little bit. Referee pushes the port. Savannah moving. Moving. Cruz comes in, lands an uppercut to the body, but Savannah lands a counter right hand. Savannah lands a right hand. Now Cruz comes back, takes it and lands one herself. Both ladies tied up, and it goes to the end of the second round. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Come on, man. Hit the like button for me. Hit the like button for the ladies because they are going to war. They're going to war, man. <clears throat> Hit that like. Let's get it. <laughs> the camera's going to the crowd and all the crowd members that get in front of it. Doing some kind of dance to get the attention right when that camera's on now. <laughs> Let's go. Showing a replay. So a Savannah came in and landed that right hand. And then Cruz fired back to right and missed that one. <clears throat> that was Savannah highlight on that one. Here we go. Round three begins. Cruz coming out throwing the double jab, lands it. Lands another jab. Oh, Cruz just missed the right hand. Savannah looking for the catcher with the counter check hook. Both ladies shooting jabs. Savannah throw. Oh, nice one too by Savannah. She was gonna go for a third, but Cruz went low. Then Cruz came up with two to the body. Both ladies get tied up. Referee wants Cruz about the back of the head shot. We in the third round. Jab to the body by Cruz lands. Overhand. Oh, lad tied up again. Um, Savannah was going for overhand right. Both ladies came in, got tired. There, referee separate them. Cruz come in with the one-two. Savannah back with the jab, nothing there. Cruz shoot the jab in. Come, both ladies come in again, tied up. They looking to throw and they just get all tied up. Now they break loose. One minute and nine seconds in the third round. Cruz try to overhand right, misses, get a little wild, holding Savannah down. Separate. Jab to the body by Cruz. One-two by Savannah. Jab by Savannah to the body. Jab of third by Savannah. Ooh, Savannah tried to one two missing. And they both let it go down. Not a knockdown, though. It's where Savannah threw, Cruz went low, then they kind of like they got tangled in the push shove type of thing. Cruz tried to throw the one two, get blocked. Left to touch the left hook. Both ladies tied up again. Cruz pushing Savannah to the top ropes. Referee separating. 36 seconds in the third round. Jab by Cruz. Savannah trying to come forward. Cruz lands right into the body. Misses up top to the left. Savannah pumps the jab. Better Cruz slides up to the right. Both ladies come in. Throwing combination. Nothing really clean. Cruz going low. Walking Savannah back to the road. Referee separate him. 18 seconds. Third round left. 
Both Lady Gian get tied up. Nothing clean. Now Savannah going to the body a little bit. Now, uh, uh, uh not Carissa, but uh, Cruz holding Savannah. Hill over here, right by, by Cruz with a left hook at the end of the bell. And right after those two landed, Savannah landed like a, maybe a jab in between. Clarissa Lant trying to give advice. Um, Clarissa Shields says that she believed that Cruz won all three rounds so far, 3-0. Trying to hear what Clarissa's saying, guys. Um, oh, what's up? Hey, Colin, what's up, champ? He said, he said, what's AT Dub? Do you think either of these two will fight Shields again? If Savannah wins, it is a possibility. Actually, it's a possibility if either one of them win. I think the bigger fight, just because it's USA, UK, um, black versus white, will be um, Shields and um, Marshall. But this is what's going to happen, man. I do believe Cruz and Shields will fight again. I don't think it'll be a lot of animosity. It'll be more of a like just doing a fight, building each other up to uh, make this money. Here we go, guys. We're jumping right back into the fourth round. So action was already going on while I was explaining that. Um, Savannah actually was starting out pretty good this round from what I can see. Both ladies tied up right now. Cruz pushing Savannah to the left middle. Referee step in. Time to listen, listen. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, nice one-two by Savannah. Now Clarissa, uh, uh, Cruz coming back with a one-two. And they go down again. This time, uh, Clarissa, I'm not Clarissa. I'm kissing Clarissa. Um, Cruz throws a wild shot, misses, grabs Savannah, spins, and Savannah goes down. No knockdown, guys. No knockdown. Now they tied up again. Savannah uh, holding her forearm and Clarissa. Uh, 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 I got Clarissa in my mind now. Um, Cruz with the forearm. Referee warned about that. Guys, hey, they getting a little gritty in there, man. They getting a little, they tied up right now. Getting a little gritty. Head pushing back. Cruz pushing Savannah to the ropes. And, and I would say the head, that, that referee saw Cruz ahead and warned about that. Oh, Savannah comes in. The one, two gets stuck. That last one got in and pops Cruz right in the nose. Now Cruz trying to overhand right misses. Counter shot by Savannah Lance. 30 seconds. Both ladies throwing in the middle. Oh, right, left by Cruz. Tied up again. Cruz hit her and then tied her up. Uh, uh, it looks like Cruz I might be getting a little tired. I'm not sure. Both both ladies inside. Cruz going to go to the body. Nice right hand by Savannah. Cruz is swinging a bit wild. Those wild shots going to get her counter. She, she she better really watch that. I mean, that's, that true wild swinging. Cruz coming in. Savannah tried to one, two, missing time. Man. God, listen, man, these ladies getting it, man. These ladies getting it. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, if, whew, sorry, this coffee's not doing a job. If, um, if Cruz continues to, like, get wild and maybe show a little signs of fatigue, this fight definitely going to turn to more towards Savannah style. She gets a like. She gets pretty wild with some of them shots. Like, like really wild with it, you know? Hit that like button for you, boy. What you guys doing? Hit that like button. I'm trying to get my thing on. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Here we go. Fifth round, we gun. Cruz is the one coming out pushing the pace. I mean, she's pushing it towards Savannah. Now landing a lot, but she is pushing. She's coming forward. Try the left hand to the body. Now both ladies tied up again as Cruz walks Savannah to the bottom right corner. Or the bottom left corner. Savannah back to now. Jab to the body by Savannah. Cruz catches her with a left hook up top. Savannah, oh, nice jab. Long jab by Savannah again. Savannah throwing a nice one, too. Lands to the right, to the right hand. Now Cruz gets in in the own right hand. Then like a left hook grab to the body. Hell, the referee separate him. One minute, 16 seconds in the fifth round. Both ladies come in. Cruz misses the one, two. Savannah touches the right hand to the body. 
Now, uh, Cruz holding on to kind of touch to the body, touch to the body. Referee separating. One minute and four seconds left in the fifth round. Savannah back with that jab. Left hook to the body by Savannah. Right hook upstairs in the clinch. Cruz is physically pushing Savannah back. Cruz got the physical pushback, but I would say actual shots landed doing that was probably about Savannah. 47 seconds left in the fifth round. Cruz right left to the body. Now she goes tackled to the ground by Savannah. Pushed down. And she's warning Savannah about that. They wanted Savannah. Fifth round back on. 35 seconds left in the round. Cruz shoot. Jab, the jab landing by Savannah. Cruz throws the left right hand. Now Savannah. Two in. Real tight shots. Cruz took him well. 21 seconds left in the fifth round. Savannah back with that jab. Overhand right by Cruz. Long jab by Savannah. Now Savannah point coming forward as Cruz backed up a half a step. Now Cruz tried to one, two, miss it. Both let it get tied up. Now Savannah pricking the forearm, pushing Cruz head down with it. Referee separate him. Time. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hit that like button, man. What are you guys doing, man? Hit that like button, you boy. Man, these likes are pitiful, man. These likes are disrespectful. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Showing a replay. Savannah landed at that, that, that 2-1 combo, man. It was like, well, more like a like a one, two, and I think she comes right back with a with a nice one. Yep. Almost like a one hook, because it hit like that. It wasn't like this. It was like, it was like boom, boom, wow. As I punched my own microphone. I'm glad I didn't break it. Let's go. Hit that like button. This is your number one place for live full fight commentating. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you never be late or miss a moment of this action again. All right, guys. I believe it's a six round buff lady coming out. Let's see. Yeah, six round. Cruz right over and right misses. Grabs on Savannah. Pushes her back to the ropes. Referee separator. The unofficial scorecard. Unofficial. They have uh, four rounds for Marshall, and they have the first round a tie by the unofficial. That means uh, first round was a tie. Every round after that, they get to Savannah. Oh, Savannah to the body with two of them. Here come up third. Cruz battling back. Both ladies inside throwing shots. Savannah trying to find a way to get in. Now referee come in, push him apart. Right hand by Cruz. Tied up. Referee break him up. Cruz, nice left hook. Lands a nice lead left hook. Savannah trying to count with the right hand, just misses as Cruz almost went low. Nice long jab by Savannah right there. Cruz trying to overhand right, misses Savannah. Boom, boom, boom. 50 seconds left in the sixth round. Savannah tried to one, two, just coming up short. Cruz lands a right hand, left hook to the body. Then kind of grabs on to Savannah for a minute. Separates. Mouth kind of open. Cruz getting a little tired. Right uppercut by Cruz. Now Savannah taking Cruz in and pushing it down. 30 seconds left in the sixth round. Both, both ladies come in. Nice left hook by Savannah. Walk trying to walk Cruz down with that jab. Cruz left hook to the body. Now they tied up again. Ooh, both of them try, but left hook. Ooh, Savannah landing the left right inside to the face area of Cruz. There we go. Who's backing up? Time. Man, that, that was definitely a Savannah round right there, man. That was a Savannah. Hey, guys, smash that like button right there for your boy, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Guys, listen, this is boxing talk. We doing this for the ladies on this one, man. See, I'm telling you, man, like, like I don't get a chance. To, I don't watch a, a lot of the, the uh, female boxing, but when I see Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall, um, what's it, Bo Gardner, um and uh Cruz, I know it's going I know they fight. Like I don't even think about gender. I know they're gonna fight. Um I would say that like I said that one of the main difference that I, I see from, from men to women is that 
not having that the power that that some men bring because every man don't uh like Polly, you know they don't have that power like that <laughs> here we go guys getting ready we're gonna believe the seven round let's make sure yep seven round of gum watch coming out working that jab uh, 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 I said Clarissa Cruz backs up a little bit, little bit, but both ladies are tied up again. As believe it or not, Savannah throws a low blow and got one for it. Counter right hand by Cruz. <laughs> I wonder if a low blow is the same for a female as it is for a guy. Now Cruz trying to attack the body, but she misses. Cruz throwing, throwing the jab. Savannah's trying to look in the bang. Cruz misses the right hand. Now right hand by Savannah up top lands. Oh, nice right hand by Cruz. Long one back Savannah up to the ropes. But now Savannah taking her hand and holding Cruz nook down with it. Referee separate him. Savannah throws a one, two, land the Cruz, misses the counter two, three combo. Now Cruz holds Savannah down. Referee separate him. Cruz throws the right hand. Savannah counter, Cruz got her, and they slang it right in the middle of the ring. 59 seconds in seven round, they tied up. Referee push him for it. Cruz but land, land this wild right hand, but partially. She landed that one a little bit. Cruz go low. Both ladies get tied up in the clinch. Cruz trying to work. Now Savannah takes Cruz's head, puts her in a headlock. Referee separate them. Cruz misses the right. Both jab, jab, jab by Cruz. Cruz trying to get forward. Savannah tried the right hand, just missed. Both ladies tied up again. Savannah now pushing Cruz back to the ropes. Referee separate them. Left hook to the body by Cruz. But he's tied up again. Referee separating again. 17 seconds. Uppercut by Savannah. Now Savannah leans on Cruz. They throw. Oh, nice by Savannah with the low. They were throwing Cruz miss. Savannah body hit left hook. Oh, man, it was nice, man. Cruz kept firing back. They fired back and get tied up at the end to end the round around seven. Man, they getting at it, man. Listen, man, these women fight, boy. They going at it like crack at it. They trying to get it, man. They are trying to get it. They trying to crack that nut, bro. Savannah, Savannah trying to trying to give it to Cruz and Cruz trying to give it to Savannah. The unofficial scorecard got Savannah Marshall up. Smash that like button for your boy, man. We about to cook with grease on this one. Remember, guys, we still on that road to 10K. We're trying to take this thing to that to that 10K. We uh, um, the goal is 10 right now. We definitely we saw our objective. We got to eight, pushing past 8K. Now we got now we're gonna walk down nine, but we trying to get to that 10. Subscribe to the channel. So what's the shields is telling um, Cruz, let's go, let's go. Here we go. And from, hey, from the second of the bell, they start throwing, get tied up. Eighth round. Remember, that, I think this might be only go 10, maybe. One, two by Savannah. Misses left hook to the body by Cruz. Both ladies tied up. Cruz now pushes Savannah back to the road. Savannah locks up the left arm of Cruz. Cruz trying to fight with the free arm. Referee separate him. Both of them throwing tied up again. Savannah puts Cruz's head in the airlock. Savannah backs rest on the ropes. Referee pushes him apart. And I think he ruins Cruz about something. Jab to the body by Savannah. Cruz digging, digging to the body. Now Savannah operating two shots on the backup. Cruz pushing Savannah on the ropes. Using the forearm to hold her against the ropes. Referee separate him. Both of them back pumping that jab. Right hand by, by Cruz. Missed it. She's reaching with these shots, man. She missed it and then kind of kind of football shoulder push Savannah to the ropes. Both lady missed. Savannah in, operating on the inside. Cruz using that weight, pushing him to the ropes again. Referee separating him. And, and I think he's telling Cruz to not do that. Oh, inside by Savannah. Uh, kind of like a forearm. I don't know what that was. They call the time. They're talking to the ladies. He called the time out, talking to the ladies. Nice and let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. Uh, uh, Savannah tried a right hand jab. Just coming up short. Throw another one, too. Nothing there. Again, oh, that was nice by Savannah. Through a one choppy right, left hook to the body. Left hand upstairs by Savannah. Crowd think they're going to stand up for something. Savannah trying to operate, trying to respond with the crowd. Cruz grabs her and walks Savannah to the rope. Referee instantly steps in to say, no, let's keep it fighting. 
Oh, man. Uh, I think Savannah landed. I think it left uppercut. She threw a right and missed. Came back the second one. Cruz goes low. Savannah holds her head down with the forearm. 12 seconds left in the eighth round. Savannah lands a jab. Another jab by Savannah. Left hook. Referee separating them again. Jab to the body by Savannah. Ends the eighth round. Ninth round is next. It's only going 10. Um, if I had to take a wild guess to where the fight is going and where it's going at, unless something change, um, we're gonna they're probably most likely going to say, and new. I would be shocked if they gave it a cruise. Savannah coaching her on from the side. Come on, come on, pushing her, pushing her. And she wears her groat necklace. She's mic'd up. I can see a little bit of urgency in Cruz Corner as they're talking to her to respond. They're showing the big shots landed by Savannah. Two women, two gladiators out there going for it. Savannah hoping that this win can most likely lead back to Clarissa. I wouldn't be shocked if she won if she called out Clarissa. Here we go to ninth round. Here we go, guys. Overhand by Clarissa coming up. I mean, uh, Clarissa. By uh, Cruz coming up short. Both lady tied up again. Cruz pushes her back to the ropes. Referee separate them. Both ladies throwing shots. Left hook to the body by Cruz. Referee trying to slap hands free. Like, don't not fight. He don't, hey, the referee ain't letting no holding going on. He's like, let's, let's get it. Let me see. Left hook to the body by Cruz. Jab up third by Savannah. One, two by Savannah. Left to the body and up third by Savannah. Cruz trying to fire back, but Savannah might be getting the better of this exchange. They didn't get locked up. Cruz pushes Savannah to the ropes. Referee got a smile. Like, come on, come on. Break it up, break it up. One minute, 20 seconds. Cruz walks us in the ring. Cruz is tired. Cruz face the jab. Face it, face it. Misses the right hand. She's throwing it for two, four away. Savannah tags it with two shots. Coming back with another jab. Another jab by Savannah. Damn, the body hit. Shot by Savannah. Both of them get tied up. Cruz trying to work a couple uppercuts on the inside. She pushes Savannah back. Referee separate both of them as we go under a minute in the ninth round. Ladies are tied up. Cruz throwing a left-right combo in the clinch. Savannah looking for the uppercut. Still tied up. Referee separating now with the crowbar. Savannah flicking the jab at her. Throwing that right hand. I don't know if it landed or not. Cruz just misses hers. Jab to the body by Savannah. Try to come up top of one. I mean, Savannah is she, like... When you see her face, she's trying to, she's trying to do it. 30 second night round. Both those one, two, but left hook by Savannah gets through. Triple jab by Savannah lands. One, two to the, three to the body by Savannah. She bop, bop, lift over, boom, foul home. One, two by Savannah. Cruz throws the right hand. She threw everything into it. So, uh, right now, Cruz is trying to, Cruz's nose might be bleeding. She's trying to throw that home run shot. She is trying to land it. Cruz we're trying to work the body in the, in the clinch. Time. One round left. One round left. Hit that light. Hit that light. Hit that light. One round left. Ace. What's up, Ace 99 says, come on, Cruz. Man, she's going to have to bring it, bro. She's going to have to bring it. This is the last round. They got shorter rounds, and they don't even go 12 rounds. I think, if anything, they got to at least go 12 rounds. You can't do both. You can't go less rounds, I mean, less minutes, and less rounds. Give us either same minutes, less rounds, or more rounds, less minutes. I think that that might have been Cruz's husband. I, I think to her, he told her, take it, take it. Get your ass up and take it. He telling her to go out. And she needs to go get it, man. Like, Cruz, but she can't be sloppy. She's been reaching with a lot of these shots, man. Cruz doesn't want to. They're tied up again. Referee separate them. Cruz doesn't want to. Nothing there. Right hand by Cruz. The unofficial scorecard. Only really gave Cruz one real round that they gave her out of all of them. Both ladies, I mean, they throw him, man. Tied up again. Right hand by Cruz. Lands back in the head of Savannah. Then she's working the body on the inside. Still trying to just work. 
Put trying to land the right hand against Savannah. Savannah's on the ropes. Referee coming, separating them. Cruz definitely knows his mouth is bleeding. Probably by the jabs of Savannah or the right hand. Oh, left hook to the body by Cruz. Tied up again. Now they break loose. Cruz working the body, pushing Savannah to the ropes. Holding on to the ropes. Referee separating them. Cruz is definitely bleeding. She she been in the fight. Cruz pushing forward again. You can hear the, uh, the the encouragement of Clarissa from the outside, trying to drive her friend home. She got 50 seconds to do it. 50 seconds. Right hand by Cruz Land. Then go to the body. Savannah is still. She wants it too. Savannah throws the one two one. Mitchell Cruz trying to go to the body. Savannah looking kind of up top. Both ladies throw and just missed. 36 seconds left in the 10th round. Referee separate them. Both ladies throwing nothing clean, but they end the clinch again. Cruz trying to walk her back to the ropes. Referee separate them. 25 seconds. Both of them throw left hook to the body by Cruz. Headlock. Cruz got in the headlock. Referee separate them. 17 seconds. Jab by Cruz. Jab by both, by both ladies. Right hand missed by Savannah. Then after double jab, Cruz firing back. Both ladies trying to go for the headlock. Referee separate them. Fight going in very soon. Time. Said GD all day. Is it G day all day? Cruise, cruise, cruise. Hey, let's see how they call it, man. Looking at this um unofficial. That un the unofficial only gave Cruise one round. He only gave Cruise one round. Round. Get ready for the new. We got to get the uh, official debate right now. That you're getting the gloves off the ladies, cleaning up. Um, Clar not Clarissa, but um, Cruz's nose. She's definitely tired. She uh, fought like a warrior. Uh, win, lose, draw. Savannah getting her gloves off as well. Showing a little battle mark, a little redness on her as well. It will be a home decision. I mean, you know, um, I, I, I thought, I thought that Clarissa should beat Savannah, but I honestly. I thought they were going to rob Savannah or make it like a split decision or something. I was shocked that they gave it to Savannah. And this one, I just don't know if I see it the same. Um, it was a war by both ladies. I thought um, um, Cruz definitely showed her strength. I thought um, Savannah showed her grit and, sh and sharpness. She, she was a little, I think Savannah might have been a little bit more sharper um, than Cruz tonight. Right now, we're waiting on a decision um, to see who won. It went it went all 10 rounds. This is for everything, man. This, like, this is either going to, like, if you, if, especially if you cruise, it's like, it's win or lose what you got. You know what I mean? You're getting ready. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see, the, the referee got both hands. Here we go. And let's see, both ladies want this so bad, but I'm telling you, this is what it come down to. Let's see. What do you got? 95, 95 draw. Nine 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 two. Ninety-seven, ninety-three. Enjoy the decision. And the new Savannah Marshall, undisputed champion, took the took it all off of uh, Cruz in one fight.
Well, guys, right now, the new Undisputed, the silent assassin, off, coming off of a loss against Clarissa Shields, finds her way with gold and being Undisputed and making her own history in the sport of boxing. One, one um, judge had it a draw, and the other two had it a, a clear victory for Savannah Marshall. Let me turn this down, guys. Um, this is a glorious and a sad. If you are a Savannah Marshall fan, this is what you want. Your girl is back on top. She's a boss again. If you are a Cruz fan, it is a major blow. You just lost all your hardware in one fight, and most likely, at least I haven't heard of, might not be a rematch clause. You might have to fight to get back. And at the age 38, it can be a little bit harder taking them young guns. Daylight robbery and the score. They got a Savannah Marshall flag. Sees our own. What do I got? We're going to call it like that, man. We saw it. We called it. I gave it to you. The winner, Savannah Marshall. I called it down the line. The fight blow by blow. One has back, one is back on top, Savannah Marshall, with all the hardware to, to potentially entice Clarissa Shields to come up and get a shot at all those titles. But then you got Cruz, who just lost all of them, and you, and you really got to ask Cruz, where does she go from here? She just lost all her belts. Does she get a rematch against Savannah Marshall? Or would she have to just fight some contenders to get back in line for another shot? Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys hit the like button. I really appreciate it. We're trying to get to that 10K followers, supporters. Please come part of it. Support, follow, comment below, and let me know. Till next time, here is What's Blazing in Sports. And I'm out.